Well guys, behind the scenes, I haven't released this yet, but um, this video I thought I'd give you a sneak peek. Tons of requests for assembling and disassembling an automatic transmission poured in when I uploaded that video on my uh, channel of the video I took at college when we were assembling and disassembling automatic transmissions. So I bought a couple as you can see here. So one here, a couple transfer cases here, and I have one in the back of the excursion. So there will be plenty of opportunities to uh, tear these down, rebuild them, go through all the parts. So for those of you wanting those kinds of videos, you are in luck. And just a little, uh, just a little survey. What do you think of the look of the new Ford F-Series trucks? I've got my opinion on it, but you tell me. What do you think? Does it look good? Do you like that extra big Ford symbol on the front? The headlight design, the front. What do you think? Or do the classic old F-Series look better? Let me know in the comments. And here she is. I just got back from work. Before I came back, I gave her a wash and uh, shined the tires up a bit. It's kind of dark, so you can't really see, but it looks a lot better than it used than it used to. It was filthy. However, on my way back, coming up the hill, I gunned it and. Uh, bunch of power started roaring forward all of a sudden I hear this kind of sounded like something blew off and I lost I'm gonna say at, at least 80 percent of the power and I'm not kidding so I practically lost all engine power um, I was going 55 miles an hour up a slight hill and I had pedaled to the floor and it was barely maintaining 55 miles per hour. And another thing I noticed, little or no boost at all. I mean there was nothing. And it just goes to show you how much power a turbocharger really adds to these engines boost wise. But the other thing too is uh, they, um, the uh, engine control module monitors the boost and depending on how much boost is pumped into the intake that determines how much fuel is injected into the combustion chambers so when there was no boost it was hardly putting out any fuel and that just that made it lack even more power but here's what happened uh, I was watching the boost gauge when I did this I think I dumped about 25 30 psi in but the problem was, this, uh, these intercooler lines contain oil residue, and what happened is I did not have this clamp tightened on this rubber piece here, this boot that connects the intercooler line to the intake manifold there. Actually, that's the X pipe right there. Um, boost from the turbocharger comes from the turbo to the uh, pre-intercooler line, runs through the intercooler, back to the post-intercooler uh, line, and down into the intake. And what happened is, sure enough, that's where that sound came from. Uh, let me get a light here. Where is my light? Where, here it is. This is a cordless one, I really like it. So, jump up here. Oh slippery I just washed it nice and clean Ugh. okay here's what happened the post intercooler line blew off of the intake manifold line going in there as you can see right there completely disconnected thankfully I did not drive far with it like this because it's just sucking any air in there like that not good and being right next to a quarry here, it's a good thing they weren't doing anything because it can get quite dusty. So pretty fortunate on that. But yeah, that's what happened right there. And that's what that loud sound was. I know I'm not the best at making engine sounds, but yep, blew completely off and I am not kidding. It seemed like I just lost all engine power. It was all gone. 
So, thankfully, the fix to this problem is, I'm gonna clean the oil off a little bit here before I put this back on so it holds on better next time. And I slide it back on and tighten it up to the manufacturer's uh, torque specifications. And maybe just a little bit more. You don't want to go too much more, but a little bit more to handle that extra boost. So that's what happened. And oh, I was relieved that it was an easy fix. I didn't know what had happened at first. I had a general idea when I heard that uh, loud rush of air escaping from the intercooler lines there, but I couldn't be sure, and it had me worried until I found out that's what it was. So, too much boost or that uh, clamp wasn't tight enough on the two, and it should be an easy fix.